Um, good afternoon, folks. It's 1717. And I have to react quickly on the 24th day, first month, 2023, here in the UK. It would be universal time as well. And I'm looking her out to see it's Sydney, and I'm going to show you why. All right, I get a message uh, from a. Uh, from Layla Milken. If you don't know familiar with her work, uh, you should you should follow her and get behind her. She reads books and stuff online too that are of importance. Uh, you might find that really nice to have, to hear somebody read a book, and then people can talk about it. So, uh, and I downloaded this, so I'm probably just gonna. Well, I'll go up. Oh, we don't do why. Yeah, I was going to Cinema World. So, anyways, uh, I want you to see this. Look at the colors. Uh, that's what I want you to look at. I've got the sound turned off. You see all those different colors. You got purples. You know, I'm seeing greens in some of this lightning in this video uh, that was taken by these these nice folks uh, who I don't know the name of, but I believe that's looking out to sea because I see the clouds that did it. So uh, I'm going to talk now about chemicals. You see the white. Well, that bright light can do that too, but there's a few other chemicals that can do that as well. And at nighttime on a bomb, when you do a fireworks show, and people around the area said it was about 50 planes flying. I don't know if that's an accurate count or not. But I'm just t saying exactly what was said to uh, in the message to me. I've seen a lot of purples in this one here. And I'm going to just let this roll I, uh, for the whole posterity of it all. And, and a hint to you guys who are taking pictures through glass. That's it. What I end up doing is make sure you wipe your lens with a clean cloth first, then stick it directly on the glass. You'll lose all reflection from the room behind you. Yeah, that's how I get good pictures at airports of devices and things sometimes, or storms. I actually put it on the glass. You'll lose a little reflection. Uh-huh. Try it. You'll see. Or take a cup, a Dixie cup, and make it like a, a little funnel with a hole in the end, you know, so you can put the thing on it. And you'll really get a good shot. But I find it better to just put it right on the glass. And it reduces a lot of double. Because I've seen a little lens flare there. See that? That's lens flare. There's one person said it looks like a plane flew by. And it did. You were correct. But I'm not going to play the, the sound on this. I just wanted this to play. So it is going through. And I have one more. I think it's, is it this one? Here. I did them in order. And thank you so much for uh, even thinking about me to look at this. That's an honor. So there we go. Her finger did that first purple, so I ain't gonna look at it. I'm looking over here, and she's going, there's gonna be a pan. I thought, well, it's the last that's filming. I can hear her, her bloke in the background. It's kind of funny. But yeah, there was a plane going by. But those two lights there, those are lens flares, because uh, you must have a light in the room. Now over here is a nice. There was a big cluster went off, and they were going off like bomb, boom, but a boom, boom, boom. Did you see all those that went off? I wonder if I could frame this. Frame by frame it. I have to do it in a different program to do that. So we can pick up some of the colors. But what I'm getting at is that when you get an explosion like that of fireworks, it's very easy to see what the chemicals are. Right? You see in purples, there's your dumb down juice. You see in barium? These two uh these two elements or chemicals, as they also can be called, uh propagate waveforms as well. This one does. These two especially. So if you see the orange. Hey, deep in that, you know they're, they're going to bzzz the storm because they need those those chemicals in the sky for the waveform to go through, the medium. Boom, boom. Does that look familiar? Any of these things when you see the smoke? Uh, this is a deep concern. And we've had a lot of experiments with lithium rockets in the United States. Well documented that uh, of sounding rockets, as they're called. And yes, NASA did the experiments, uh, surprisingly. No, I, you know, you could do this, right? Let's still use the sight. Okay, so don't don't hesitate. Flares fall and Hey, I think about these things. This is a that would have been its initial pow going up, by the way. And but one thing can go boom and release that one that then releases one up that one. So you can get more than one explosion uh, from the same fountains. But this one here has two. So you'll have a boom, boom, boom. Gonna get to go boom, boom, boom. So you see the green, man, and that, that's for your waves. When you see this one, it's so you don't notice it anymore. Lithium has a couple other effects on human health that I know. Is I let's see, sun sensitivity is one of them. Hey, I could lead more sunburns. And well, it's supposed to put the bipolar people to sleep or anybody that might notice something's wrong. Calcium. 
that's an important one to notice because uh, with the with the adding of the calciums, you can make uh, aluminum hydroxide out of the mixes. Yeah, yeah, this is an important one to watch for or uh, bicarbs. Uh huh. Yeah, 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 you gotta watch the calciums. Imagine that. I'm gonna hit you with some calcium. But and this one will be a concern too. That would be I don't understand. If they were shooting copper up there, it would only be for conductivity that I know of. But uh, these ones are ones you'll see mainly a lot in this, especially this. And do we see any of those? Yeah, I haven't really framed very framed this. Hello. Yeah, this is going to be me busting the chem bombs. So at the time this occurred was about a, it was about four hours ago. And four hours ago is as far back as I could go. So were there bombs out of sea? They said it was loads of planes flying around. Right. It's hard to pick up on the tops of this clouds here. But I, I see a bomb cluster here. But they're in, they're in Sydney, right? Because they're in here and they're filming out. There's a big bellin, not so lucky clover cloud, right? Did you get chem bombs, Sydney? 100%. You were looking out to sea, seeing chem bombs go off. You see a big square blowing up here? It takes a line of bombs to do that. And I do see some really, really small white dots here that are hazed out. So I had to go over to my other set view. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's more than one way to skin a kit. And I do have it already loaded. So then I have to go over here and look at temperature differences. Is it a hot or a cold bomb going off? Now this all here, this should get colder as it grows up higher. And that's going to be a higher part of the cloud. So something deployed there that was warm when it catalyzed. And so let's, I'm going to frame by frame this back in my usual manner. And I'm going to turn off some of this because I find it distracting. I just want to catch, like so this is where you do the, uh, what do you call it, the visual acuity test or what, field. You just relax your eyes. And you look for dots and then determine what the temperature is based on this graph down here. The higher up you go, the colder it is. And when I suddenly see a hundred below and near an 80 area, I know they catalyze something that's cold. And there's something called ice nucleating bacteria. Look, it's the elephant in the room. Got trunk and everything. Right? These storms should be spinning a vortice. They shouldn't be square bumps on the edge. And this is a computer generated image of but it shows temperature. That's all I want to see is temperature differences. But I can also see bomb clusters on the lower deck. This string here going along. Planes can do that. Planes can do these. This is out to sea. The biggest bombs I've seen going off. And I looked at the lightning stats. It has to be here you were looking. There's beams coming through here. Right here is an electromagnetic perturbation cutting through the storm, hedging it. You make them square very easily. And I bump a square right around here, it starts to turn. That's the way they rotate in this one. Circle gets a square. Look at the face. My imaginary. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. And those are getting colder. So I look for those things. I look for these deployments lately. Yeah, it's over here, it's Dino, man. It's Barney. I don't love the earth as I'm bam, bam, thee. Nobody can look up from their phones to see. Yeah, they will. Everybody's gonna look up. You got to. But you gotta I use logic in my determinants. So I go by the colors. And what the colors that I saw uh, showed me you had a uh, you had lithium, barium, and strontium for sure. I seen a couple bursts that were golden. Yeah, but you remember lightning's gonna fray what's up there already. Right, it's going to plasma, whatever it is, it goes through up there. But to hear the bombs, I did predict this too, didn't I? I said, you won't be able to see them sometimes, but you'll hear rows of them going off. And one of them was like in a row, you could hear it. You could hear it, because I can hear in the video pretty well. But it wasn't great loud, but it was, hey, the dude should have, she was filming. <laughs> Anyways, I digress. So you go by these colors on these charts. Uh, anywhere you can find this. Yeah, you just Googled up uh, fireworks and get their colors. It's very simple information to find. It is rocket science because they make fireworks out of them. But um, bump, boom, 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 go to plumes in the skies over Sydney. And yes, you had some problems today. And we're running. Um, good morning, uh, Marina. Morena, Marina. Marina. <laughs>
All right, yeah. This, so I, this is how I do some of my determinants. So that was minus, minus this. That was uh, minus ten degrees colder than what was around it, right there. Right, it's, it's rising up. It should be colder. Right. So we need to know what altitude that was at. Uh huh. More. Very sudden. But they're all in these little dots and go away. And any elephant enters the room. I'm gonna have that. That would be a good little button to put on a hat or something. I like that. You have to I had to catch this just right. I just caught caught your message lately. I get these all day long from people, you know. Now come on, voice, come back. I had to burn my esophagus again, so it's if you put up with that. My voice, yeah, I'm not as happy either. There's been a big cluster, and you might have been able to see that. If that was really high up, you might see that from here. Especially if it was higher than that or lower. Look, there's there's all bombs, all sorts of going off, one after the other. And this might run into the chemicals of that. See that cluster bomb there? Feeling fireworked? But anyways, I had to document what was going on. I want to go over and catch this data. So I'm going to roll this a little bit fast. I want the EMF. So this is just uh, for this one data capture. A lot of magnetic particulates streamered off the top in a plasma. And a big wave came off. Look at this. I'm going to have a look at that. That could be in one of those. That could have been happened when that all those explosions, because they would have happened around here. Well, when the message got sent to me, was here, nearly exactly. Because there's a ten minute gap for the image. That it could have been this field actually going off, right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Boy, their their explosion will 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 actually. Uh, agitate the ions together or shockwave them and you could have a hell of a lightning display and the chemicals deployed uh, will be visible in the sky uh, in the plasma yeah that's right at that moment this is the moment Layla right there all right this is this is the moment that that video occurred I do know the timestamp thank God <laughs> I said it had to be Sydney because I'd already been watching this it might have actually recorded a little bit of it during my one o'clock video. Not sure. These are all bombs going off, and this could very well be what you saw. It's hard to pick up here, and I didn't see enough there. But look at the bombs on the low deck here. And this is low deck. That's going over the top of it. So let's go back there. You see that string here? Those are bombs. I know that look anywhere. So you have had activity from planes out to sea. Of that, in my opinion, there is no doubt. Here, I did that so it does, the video stays up. Come on, folks, you know. Come on, man. You, do you know the compass is square when you see it? Well, that ain't it. <laughs> Here's the eye. The eye. The Stygian witch is right. I have, to, I have to catch all ends of this storm. Look at this bomb field out here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These are all bombs. I guarantee you. I know what they look like. Right, I even know how to do chemical determinants. You have to make it blow up or, or plasma or burn it. I mean, to know what color it is. Yeah, that's a big bomb field. Look at that. Shaped like the Pentagon. This one's horn brought to you by the Pentagon with the Pentagon. It has a very specific firework deployment. Dun, 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 dun. Lithium and barium. And strontium is what I saw in your sky tonight, and a hint of calcium. I didn't see no no copper. And there's other variations in here, believe me. Those are the, the main ones. They ain't even showing you aluminum. I'm going to get that next. Um, what color does aluminum burn? Dun, 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 silver white. And what, what did this look like? I'm going to go get it again. Uh, it was here, wasn't it? Go back to the beginning here. The other one was better, actually. But I'm, I'll, I'll find one on what I saw. I'm not getting lucky. Right, you'll get a lot of reflection of light, too, on upper clouds. See the purple hint to that? 
as you can sort of see the green hint to that. Uh, there, there you go. There we go. That was it. Right there in the beginning. Let me get a step. Right, we got a lot going on here. I don't have a toggle on this, so you just bear with it. So as I get to the uh, purple. That's all I'm looking at. Looking for the colors of the explosion. See the green. Oxygen can go green too. I have to point that out. That's why I say you gotta you gotta really look. My god. So to throw that right there, I would say, well, you know what? And that kind of looks like a lithium firework. The color. So I would keep that in the back of my head. Right? He, how will Robert do his determining? Lately, you wanted me to have a look at this. Your wishes might come in. And that's, it was an important question to ask, actually. So let me continue to go over this. Let's look for some more colorations for this documentation. That was a lens flare. Any little dots you see are lens flare except one, which is a plane. And it, it actually travels a path. And that must be the person giving the thumbs up for getting on lane. I might see it cloudy in the background, though it's lightning, because you had a show. Yeah, hard to determine. You got a purple edge here, but I got a green down there. Some rain falling in front of it's going to cause some refraction. Boy, I bet it belted it down from here to here. You can see the rain line. Must have been moving that direction. Possibly. Or the leading edge. The lean of the... How's it leaning? <clears throat> Boom! Yeah, a bit of green on that. That's two bombs. So they mixed that green and purple. Mm -hmm. What was green and purple? Come on, we'll give you guys lessons today. Green and purple. A little more dumbed down. And that's headed to, this is all headed toward uh, New Zealand. Unless they bring it up and around. So they need these. It also has a temperature to it, these. And when they catalyze other things. So we'll have to look into lithium compounds uh, to see what else is possible to be made. And which I will do at some point. I get bored. I love chemistry. Who can afford to do it? So back to the bomb clusters here. I definitely see some colorations. Is my goodness. Right here. Would you be able to see that? Absolutely from Sydney. In the low deck. There's a lot of explosions out here. But the main explosions seem to be going on inside this cloud. Not on the top. I'm rarely seeing lightning going at crest. I'm not seeing it forking. I'm seeing it blowing up. You can hide the explosion inside the cloud. Yeah, something goes lying. Just even a balloon drifting in there uh, wouldn't disturb too much. And what could just go along and change atmospheric conditions as as the, the computer with all the sensors data says so. With, with a weather plan that unrolls. See the forum right there? You had a lot of chem bombs go off, Sydney around that time but at the moment you sent the video yeah this is what you had and if you use this direction and I'm going to be very thorough here I told you this because I couldn't determine direction of looking and this also could well do that look at the bombs in front of this storm here and this was the same time I'm of the opinion you were looking this direction that's a lot of, a lot of smudgy for mudgy there, isn't it? A lot of smudgy for mudgy. Lots of smudgings. What in the? It's gone loopy, man. It's Moloch. Moloch is the bell end. Combined. All to absolute shiza. Shiza skies. Shiza skies. Bunch of cowards out there not stopping. Come on, cowards are doing this. You wouldn't walk up the street and tell anybody you would do this to their face, would you? It's a coward. You sit in a chair and grin like a salesman and say you need this and you need that while his wallet gets fed. Bill Gates is looking like almost or some walls going on. What's going on there? <sighs> He's 
I think a billionaire will, I'll tell you what, I think a billionaire needs to become a millionaire again and then become like the minimum wage man like he wants the rest of us. If you're sitting in a chair getting fit, selling all day like that, these all these bombs going off to see I'm sorry, I'm just getting everything in every area. Is there's going to be a lot of bad weather uh, coming up here today for some areas. Flower of death outside Burke, look. Right there, 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 and there. And here with the big booms. Oh my goodness. Your air is so toxic fallout right now. They know you're sleeping with the windows open, don't they? Ah, you folks. Stanthorpe. Lismore. You, you guys. Lismore almost has clean air, but except for this big bomb that went off over here. Look at that bomb, Lismore. Bring you over right front and center. Let's get you here. <coughs> hmm. All right, back of frame, square, upper frame, boomed in a circle, upper frame, hello Byron Bay, and more bombs, more bombs. Look at this one here, back, 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 chem bombs suck. They're sucking the oxygen out of the air when every time they make sulfuric acid. It's just how that works. Then you end up with more carbon dioxide. And you could say, look, there's too much carbon dioxide. Nobody say, none, none, nobody, none of those salesmen are saying, would you like to buy some trees that are of the mother that will feed the animals and the plant and insects and butterflies that flutter by and things that won't kill the bees, which is saddening me. So I hope that answered your question, Layla, and this documentation is out. Big love. Peace.